because it's hot out here. It's like a hundred and something. In searing triple digit heat, an outreach team from the Coalition for the Homeless in Houston embarks on an important mission. So today we're, so this whole week we're doing the 290 closure. Workers are decommissioning homeless encampments along this stretch of the highway. So he's in the next intersection. He usually stays right underneath the underpass. That means they're clearing the homeless off the streets after weeks of working to place each individual into shelters. We'll put that you have a dog. <laughs> the area they're targeting now includes 10 highway underpasses. For your doggo, he has to go to the Humane Society first. These are places where Houston has made it illegal for the homeless to camp since the city can offer them alternative shelters. You want to do that? The coalition has a system in place over the course of a week to prepare folks for the journey to a better place to live. One of the men found is Wendell Hall. He's been on the streets for two years, often panhandling at this intersection. You don't taking anything? I ain't got them. Okay. When the team right. finds him, he's eager to leave. Basically, you like a child because the people take care of you. Yeah, you know, I didn't, no, I like my own money. I like my own place. Hall's paperwork was already completed beforehand, so he's good to go. So today he's going to the navigation center, and he'll be going there for maybe approximately a month or maybe less. As soon as his apartment's ready, he'll be enrolled into a housing program. That means Hall can enter permanent housing. So it's a very collaborative approach between the public sector the private sector, nonprofits, all working together, moving in the same direction. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner has appointed a team of people to help combat the homeless situation. And so you really have to look at it as this is a, a crisis of humanity that in many cases where uh, either we have failed them or we simply haven't provided the necessary resources to uh, transition them. But this is a very solvable problem. We are not a shelter-based system, we're a housing-based system. Mark Eichenbaum is the mayor's senior advisor on homeless issues. So we have over 100 different agencies all working together on one united plan with shared goals and shared strategies to ultimately move the needle on reducing homelessness. Eichenbaum says Houston is unique because each agency works under one umbrella that's led by the Coalition for the Homeless. Each agency shares the same data and information about every homeless individual on the streets. That coordinated access system is embedded at all of our shelters. It's embedded at our soup kitchens. It's embedded at our diversion facilities. Even our outreach teams have it on tablets and they're out in the field assessing folks for housing through coordinated access. When people say, how do you solve homelessness? The answer is housing, 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 housing. Mike Nichols is the coalition's CEO. The group oversees programs not only in Houston, but three counties as well. He says since 2012, 28,000 people have been taken off the streets and placed into permanent housing. A decision was made that we would house the most vulnerable people first, the most vulnerable people, people most likely to die on the street. We've cut the number of individuals on our streets by more than 70%. But housing the homeless takes housing. Houston officials say they not only have to build new units, but also find affordable rentals throughout the city, something that many other cities have found challenging. Do they have available housing, not just affordable housing, but available housing? Or they, do they make the permitting so rigorous and so impossible that you can't build? Is it so expensive that you can't build? Although Houston has received many accolades for its work, not every organization is singing its praises. Here you go. Because while their focus remains on housing the homeless, you go ahead though. There are many services that get overlooked, such as food. And there is a huge disconnect between the mayor's office and the homeless community down here on the streets. Uh, you know, it's been seen over and over again. So I'm happy to say that we've got quite a few homeless off the street, but 60%, there's just absolutely no way. Wendell Hall is one of those people who is getting off the streets and now has a chance to rebuild his life. I got to keep the faith. That's, that's what I did. I never gave up on faith. You know, I could have been worse off than that, you know. But um, something told me just hold on, hang in there, you know. Okay, all right, bye. As long as he keeps doing his stuff, doesn't, you know, break the lease or anything, he could have housing for as long as he needs it.